morning, Captain. The director informed me personally about Lieutenant Patterson's exceptional performance in Market Garden. Mm, that's our Jimmy. If only the rest of the operation went quite as well. Now, we're here to discuss Lieutenant Holt. One of his first missions for the OSS was to accompany the British on their commando raid on Saint-Nazaire. We no longer need worry about the battleship Tirpitz, but Allied forces paid a terrible price that day. Holt was one of the few men to survive. The lieutenant is currently in service in the Ardennes on a, an assignment of vital importance, but we're temporarily diverting him to aid your efforts nearby. Please make the best use of him and return him soon. I understand the plan requires Holt's tactical skills in order to seize several key areas in the Belgian countryside, recover a number of important coded documents, and disable the German command center there. I hope you gentlemen enjoy storming the castle.
Good morning, Captain. You may have heard, but reports have been filtering in this morning about Russian tanks entering Berlin. Germany is on the verge of surrendering. We're perhaps days away from their total capitulation. The war, I'm glad to inform you, is for all intents and purposes, finally over. You and your men have done your country proud. Now let me say that it has been a distinct honor to serve with all of you. As you know, we've redeployed Sergeant Baker to the Pacific Theater. He, with the aid of our agent, Corporal Joe Griffin, is currently planning out commando raids intended to recover American personnel from Japanese BOW camps. After their work for you in the Ardennes, Lieutenant Holt and his squad helped halt Germany's experiments into advanced weaponry, these so-called atomics. He is recovering from wounds sustained there in a hospital in Lyon, France. Holt's receiving the finest care, and we hope he'll return home soon. I've received far happier tidings from Lieutenant Patterson, who recently proposed to our French operative, Manon, though no word yet on how she's replied, I'm afraid. Uh, we've tentatively earmarked him for this post-war intelligence agency that our director, Bill Donovan, has been recently proposing around Washington. Jimmy's simply proven too good of a monkey wrench to leave lying around unused. It seems that work will always exist for men such as these. I suspect they'll never fully rest. Madmen. Heroes.